What is going on you guys? Haley and I are currently in Orlando, Florida and we are thrifting with some fairly famous people. Back there you might recognize my man Joey Bada Bing. Look at there. And we got over here at the register Dalton from Dealing with Dalton, famous Instagrammer slash YouTuber. And then my man Drew Profit Monsters up there. This is our first thrift stop of the day and it has been a heavy hitter for several reasons. All right, what'd you guys get? Are you actually found shoes? I found some shoes. Got these Margaritaville flip flops, three ninety nine. Should sell for like twenty plus shipping. Cole Hawn, zero grand nice. for twelve bucks. Should sell for like forty plus shipping. And then some Clarks for eight ninety nine. Brand new, probably like thirty plus shipping. Sweet. You got a tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have the model on it. Some of the Roger Federer rackets are like twenty bucks, and then some of them are like two hundred. So I paid seven bucks for it, figured I'd take a chance on it and see what happens. Not gonna lose your money either way. Yeah. Joey? So I got two pairs of torrid jeans, brand new with the tags, dead stock. Dead stock. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Jegging. For like six bucks. They That's just awesome. sell for like 30 a piece. Yeah, torrid's great. Haley found a bunch of Peter Millar shirts. Like, what, six? Six or seven? Six or seven. Peter Millar dress shirts. We got this, like this backpack from um, Dalton. Dalton found this backpack, but he doesn't yeah. sell anything that isn't shoes. So he gave it to us, Osprey Talon 22. This is sold for, I don't know, like 50 bucks or so. And then, of course, the deal of the day. Yeah, Drew, you hold you. it up. I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna get this way so we can see it in the sunlight. Dude, more. look at the fade on this thing. Yeah, it's freaking sick. I was gonna walk you guys through this verbally because I didn't have a chance to turn on my camera before I actually bought this shirt inside this thrift store. So shout out Drew and Dalton who were both filming this interaction. Super excited to share it with you guys. From you. <laughs> How much you gonna pay? That's pretty. That's a pretty cool shirt. That's 1996. Yeah. What is it? What'd you the Space get? Jam shirt. My sister. Yeah. Oh used to work for God. Blockbuster. I that's think it was like awesome. Blockbuster. Is there anything on the back of it? No, I don't think so. Oh, Single so stitch. Cool. Single stitch. Very cool. What right, about Josh? 50 bucks? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Up to you. I can do that. I'll just get another shirt. Okay. Off the back. Let's go. Off the back. Let's go. 40, 50 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. All right. Love it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I have no idea what it's worth. Drew thinks it's probably worth like 150 or so. Easily. I've, I've never, never seen I've never one seen like it Space before. Jam shirt yeah. like this. It's got the original tag still on it. Yeah. Space Jam Warner right Brothers. there. All Warner Brothers. Stitch. What does it say? It says, of course. You realize. You realize. Fifth mean four. Fifth mean four. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Long sleeve too. 50 That's bucks well spent. Man. First. We'll give you 60 for it right now. <laughs> no way, no way. So there's one sold comp on eBay for this exact t-shirt for about $79 plus shipping, but that one had a huge hole in the front and ours is in great condition other than some fading from the years of it being in existence. There are none currently listed for sale on eBay. There's one that's sort of similar. It has a similar graphic, but it also has Bugs Bunny on the front and that one is listed for $449.99. So we're probably going to list this one for $150, $100. $175 or so, turn on best offer and see what happens. First stop of the day, we're gonna be uh, hitting some thrift stores, uh, just hang out for the rest of the day. We've Haley and I went to Disney World in the last couple days, and this oh, is our last day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Joey got a few things over here. He's got this really cool Lululemon women's like tank top shirt with some adjustable straps at the bottom. How much was this? Seven bucks. Yeah. That's good right there. And so you get, you're not getting this, Miss no, Jacket? I, the it's super silver, tiny. It's not really. Yeah, it's really tiny. Probably too small to sell, so I'm yeah. gonna put that back. Found a pair of uh, Fabletics uh, leggings. I was telling Haley like usually regular Fabletics, if it was a solid color, they don't really sell. Yeah. But with a certain like print on it, they they sell pretty well. So. Cool. And Haley found this sweater down here that we put in Joey's buggy. It's a uh, Columbia Women's Large, made in USA, like button-up sweater. Oh, that was pretty cool. This is only $7.99. Should we get like, what, 40 bucks? 40 bucks or so for that. Really nice, like interesting color way too. We just stopped at another thrift store, but they didn't want anybody filming in there. So I uh, didn't have any footage from that thrift store, but we all found some pretty good stuff. I'll show you guys later on in today's video. Now we're gonna head into this Salvation Army. Everything in the store is apparently half off, but also everything is- uh, Overpriced. Overpriced. <laughs> what, 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 what's going on? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Dude, let's go. $2.99, so it'll only be $1.50. That I, is I have crazy. this shirt in black and white. Yeah, I've so seen I'm that before. Somebody at the, at the bins in Columbia found that. 
That's Dude, crazy. let's go. That's crazy. Half off too. I found this whole set of Harry Potter softback books. It's forty dollars, but everything is half off, so it's only twenty bucks. This should be an easy like, what do you think, like sixty bucks or so? 50, 60 bucks, I think. Oops. I got this power bank. Uh, it's three dollars. Uh, probably just personal use over there. But Drew, I mean, we found a couple other things. But Drew really raked in the t-shirts here. Let's take a look because he already found this Mickey Mouse shirt. This is probably what, like a fifty dollars shirt? Probably like eighty bucks. Eighty. Yeah. Single stitch on that. It's a 1986 Phantom of the Opera. Super cool. Got this vintage butterfly shirt from the Bahamas. Nice. It's just another destination shirt. Uh, Netherlands, though, pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Vintage Disney Gallery. Never, se never seen this tag before for Disney, so that's yeah, cool. A single stitch, yeah. Yeah, but the best find. The best find. Look at that. <laughs> 19, 1993. Look at with the, the shark bite taken out of the side. <laughs> Dude, it also says Florida Keys on the side. Yeah, Florida Keys, and then it's got the back hit too. That is, that's one of the craziest t-shirts I've ever seen. I think this is the craziest t-shirt I've ever yeah, seen. That's wild. The graphic is just nuts. On half off. So $1.50. Dollar dollar yes, Dalton got a bunch of shoes. I can't really follow that up, but I mean, I got some <laughs> Air Forces. Hey, those are good. Some 97s. These, uh, these are Drew's. Drew's, okay. And these uh, Harry Potter Vans. These are nice. pretty cool. Other than that, just bread and butter stuff. I think Drew's the clear winner here, folks. I'll take it. Heading into a Goodwill here at Dalton. Why don't you tell everybody who you are? Because we haven't name, done that yet. My name is Dalton. I go by dealing with Dalton on, Insta on Instagram, YouTube. I sell only shoes. Only shoes. Only shoes. Um, yeah, How much make, profit make some... do you think you miss by only selling shoes? I think that I actually make more profit by leaving all the other stuff behind. Because That's when I walk in the store, I can go through those shoes in about 25 minutes and bounce to the next store. While you guys will be looking through the whole store. Yeah, Drew's over there getting get one of those big Sony 200 CD changers that yeah, never, ever, $300. ever work. <laughs> it's a $300 clearance. Overpriced. All right, so Haley just found this Kansas wow. City Royals uh, like jersey, it's Russell it's like Athletic, size 44, made in USA. So it's like only seven bucks. Like patch on the side. Patch on the side. Nothing on the back. It's blank on the back too, which is super cool. Yeah, only 75. What's the other things? She's going to Gymshark. Gymshark T-shirt. Um, ping. That's a like super a cool, cool ping shirt. Pattern. Travis Matthews. cotton. I didn't recognize that. This is like a soccer. Umbro fusion. I don't know. Umbro's cheaper. I mean, as far as like soccer fleets go, the Umbro is really cheap. Yeah. I don't know about their clothing. It says made in USA though. Yeah, I would keep that. Yeah, we'll get that. I don't know what it's worth. I picked the best one first. So that's four. That's all. It's embroidered too. I think I that's yeah. I think that says made in USA, but I can't tell. Dude, that is sick. Blank back. Yeah. That's crazy. There's two more, I think. A Red Sox one. Okay. And I think this is the last one. There's a name on that one, too. Yeah. Simon? This is me in the USA. Yeah, that's definitely me in the USA. That is super cool. All of them are seven bucks. Yeah. It's crazy. We got this Burberry Brit Polo. No, I'm not 100% sure if this is real or not. It's only seven bucks. It looks to be pretty legit. I mean, it looks used. There's a couple little. Um, little like small stains, but they look superficial, look like they'll come out. If this is real, we should be able to get about 50 to 60 bucks for this. Got a little Ralph Lauren Polo Golf. This is the Clayton Linen Golf Shirt. It's only seven bucks. It doesn't have a little polo horse on the front, but this is still, uh, oh, it does have a little stain right there. I'm just seeing that. It's such a small stain, that should come out. Then I got also got this hat for $2.99. It's a Stetson made in USA. Like a little fedora sets so it's got a couple little stains on it like a little discoloration but i still think this will be an easy 40 to 50 bucks or so if we can get it cleaned up so we did go to a couple more thrift stores and then we ended up playing some disc golf that afternoon we went out to dinner and then we ended up playing some card games back at the hotel lobby but i didn't film any of that we were trying to live in the moment instead of working and documenting our lives so fast forward to when we get back in columbia so we got back from florida yesterday went straight to bed after driving like seven hours or something and guys this is all we got in florida just the space jam <laughs> t-shirt and a pickleball set i'm just kidding we just <laughs> unloaded the car and the this is our entire haul. I think we went a little too overboard. I, I think so too. I mean, we definitely found a lot of profit for sure. I mean, we, uh, I think, didn't you find this pair of boots? This yeah. 
Loa, Loa pair of boots. These, Vortex. These were $7.99. These are probably like 180 to $100 pair of boots right here. A lot of clothing and shoes. I was looking at the hard goods and electronics and, and things like that, but we just really didn't find much. We did get this pickleball set for 20 bucks. It's brand new in the box, open box. And then when I picked it up to take it out of Goodwill, we dropped everything. I say we, I dropped everything on the floor. Uh, so I think I'm going to take this straight to play it again sports, see if they'll give me 40 or 50 bucks for it. Pickleball is super hot right now. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like tennis. Uh, I think still, even after all this, the coolest thing we picked up was this Space Jam t-shirt off the back of that lady at the very first thrift store. This shirt is just super cool. 1996 Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers tag. There's no size tag, it was cut out, but I think this is a, a large. I'm not 100% sure how much we can get for this, a single stitch, great graphic, great condition, but definitely a good deal getting this for 50 bucks right off the back of that lady. But everything else, I'm not gonna bore you guys. There's a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes. I mean, some some definitely some cool stuff. Got this nice pair of Reebok high tops, super clean, paid 15 bucks for those. Look at these, these are cool. Yeah. We paid yeah. up a little bit, 35 bucks. Yeah, 35 bucks for those. There's only two currently listed on eBay for over $200 yeah. in used condition, and both of those are coming from Japan. Um, so there's none currently listed, none sold on eBay. The one place that you like killed on the hats. Oh, yeah, a bunch of hats there. Like, I just think this like is super Tim Timberwolves. Titleist. Um, what was that, Travis Matthew? Travis Matthew. Yeah, we got three Titleist hats and I think three Travis Matthew hats, Vineyard Vines hat. These were all between. Two, that was two, 289 up to like 389 or so. Yeah. Obviously, some of them need a little bit of cleaning, but still, really, that what was that store called? Like the. Was that the Teen Challenge? Teen Challenge, yeah. Teen Challenge Super Thrift or something like that. So it's been about two days since that last clip you guys just saw in our video when we were pulling everything out of the car. And to be honest, like I said, we did overdo it a little bit. We got a ton of items and we already had a ton of items in our garage as it was. So Haley and I have been working really hard over the last two days. We've got about 70, 75 listings put up on eBay in the last 48 hours. So we are making a good dent in it, but it was a ton of stuff. The Florida Thrift Store is definitely treated us well and overall I think our trip to Orlando Florida was a huge success the purpose of this trip was not really business related like we just wanted to get out and and relax and go to Disney World honestly and we stayed an extra day to hang out with Drew Dalton and Joey and and actually work you know so, so they say I didn't have a ton of time to vlog at Disney World again because we were trying to live <laughs> live life without working but I do want to give you guys a couple quick tips if you're planning a trip to Disney in the near future. Over the last five years or so, they've introduced a good number of new rides. They have Ratatouille, the two new Avatar rides in Animal Kingdom, uh, and they have the Star Wars rides in Hollywood Studios. And I will say that the lines for these rides can be super, super long, and Disney has an option where you can pay extra to skip the line on these rides. And a lot of people don't wanna pay extra. That was us on the first day. We we're like, oh, we'll just wait in line in, in the Star Wars ride, uh, and that was a huge mistake. The line for that ride was like, like three to three and a half hours long and we actually did not end up riding that so for the ratatouille ride and the two avatar rides we just paid extra it was like eleven dollars a person and got to skip the line go right to the front and it was worth every freaking penny so if you're going to disney world definitely uh factor in that extra cost for those rides but again florida was great i was super happy with everything we picked up and uh, super happy with getting to hang out with my friends drew dalton and joey again their channels are going to be linked in the description of this video definitely check it out they're all three great guys who make great youtube videos as well thank you guys again for watching i'm sorry if i'm boring you i'm babbling a lot i'm just super excited super tired uh and uh just ready to get back to work thank you guys again for watching this video today if you liked it all hit that like button for us and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well thank you guys again for watching you're the best and we'll catch you on the next one Whew.